Does great developer experience still mean the same thing to you today? When it comes to developer experience, I think that my guiding principle is like, how far can I get before I have to read documentation? And mm. I think that includes like great error messages. If I can do something on an airplane with really crappy Wi-Fi and be productive, that's great developer experience. <laughs> As someone that flies a lot, that's when I build things, honestly, is like when I yeah. get on a plane. And that's when you really feel bad developer experience because things are slower or you don't have internet. You get an error and you're like, this is the most cryptic error I've ever seen. You go to Google it and Google takes five seconds to load. That's when it reveals itself. And I think it ties into API design in the same way. Do I have to look up your API? If I do, then that's frustrating. If I'm using a Go SDK to use your API and that SDK has a method that doesn't explain the parameters, like I'm going to be mad at you. Um, <laughs> that's really bad developer experience. So that's kind of my litmus test. How much can I build on a plane? That's gotten to the point now where I just know that I have to run Docker build before I get on a plane. That's the habit I've had to build lately. Because <laughs> the moment I get on a plane and I go into dev mode and it boots and it's like downloading layers, I'm like, I'm not building anything on this plane today. <laughs>